Oh, 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 oh. oh wow, yeah. Holy sh What's up team? I'm holding in my hand a very rare object. This is a pure sulfur stalactite, which is actually how you say it. I always thought it was stalactite, but it's actually <laughs> stalactite with the sea. Anyways, I had the great pleasure of going to the place where this thing occurs naturally. So today, I'm going to tell you all about my epic journey to the volcanic crater of Mount Ijen in East Java, Indonesia. Also, we're going to be doing an experiment with this giant chunk of sulfur all the way at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. I promise you it's definitely going to be worth it. This story starts with three full days of travel to the base of the volcanic crater of Mount Ijen. Here, me and my best friend Mike Capetta met up with our local guide who is a sulfur miner and began what I believe to be the hardest hike of my life. <laughs> Let's do it. Where's you? All right, here we go, the trek up. Got about an hour. Mike's wearing the headlamp. We see that through fire. Look at that. A little micro version of what we're about to go see. That is so awesome. Our guide had no problem basically running up the volcano, while Mike and I, we were moving at a different pace. The hardest part by far is, uh, so far it's been the climb up. It is really intense. Sweating through everything, 100% humidity. We're in a cloud. Very frequent breaks are very necessary. Can you see out here now? I'm not gonna lie. All right, I've ran a marathon. I've done two half marathons. I am dying <laughs> up here. Like, my lungs are on fire. I am sweating. We're not even halfway yet, and my heart is like beating out of my chest. I'm just like, ah. And just as we ran out of steam, we arrived at the best positioned coffee house in all of Indonesia, exactly halfway between the base of the volcano and the blue fire. Mike, I can literally see steam rising off of your back. <laughs> We're at a cafe right now. Uh, we've been hiking for about 35, 45 minutes. We've got some new friends over here. Uh, spirits are high here. Everyone is really excited to get up there. I know I'm right in that boat too. We're gonna take just a little short respite and then get back on our way. You guys stoked? Yeah! <laughs> this was by far the best uh, coffee shop I think that I've been to in a long time. The trail's getting a little windier, a little steeper. Uh, we're almost to the top. Oh, that's the crater right there. That's the edge. That is the edge of the volcano. With coffee down the hatch, we were caffeinated, sweaty, and now smelling the pungent odor of sulfur. It's time to put the gas mask on. Our, our guide has instructed us that we are now in that zone. And the sulfur dioxide is pretty intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this thing nice and strapped up around me. I was born in the darkness. Do you smell that, Mikey? I can smell it now. <laughs> Look at how pure that sulfur is. Wow! Mancing mancing in. That one's a good wood gun. Yeah, this is where it gets a little dodgy. With what felt like the beginning to a really weird science fiction horror film, we descended into the caldera, or the open mouth of the crater. Uh, we're definitely getting closer. As you guys can see, those big sulfur chunks. Um, you can definitely smell the sulfur uh, a lot. You can definitely smell it through the mask. Let's keep moving. You can see the sulfur is all over the place. The sulfur mine is coming up and down here. Did not cut corners up here. Super strong sulfur smell. I mean, we are literally right around the corner from this. I can hear it. Tons of sulfur all over the place. Um, it is extremely sulfur smelling. It smells like rotten eggs. We are so close to actually getting down in there and seeing this blue flame. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. All right, guys, we're right in the dragon's mouth. You guys can see there is sulfur coming directly right out of this. Take a look there. Wow. Pure liquid sulfur flow. This is good like this. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You okay? Oh, yeah, I feel great. Okay, fine. Yeah, go in there and check it out? Yeah, yeah. All right. Whoa, 
the sulfur is coming right up into our faces. This mask is really helping uh, keep the sulfur out of my eyes and stain and allowing me to breathe. So we're gonna we're gonna wait here until we can actually see a little bit more of the blue flame. We're gonna we're gonna get in there and, and, and then film it. It's gonna be awesome. Then out of the blue, no pun intended, I saw something truly remarkable. No, 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 no. Holy sh Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow, yeah. behind me is the blue flame okay. as you can see it right there and uh it's just be it's just becoming morning and so we can still see the blue flame and we can still see everything over here and in in the darkness there was so much uh steam but now that we actually uh we can see a little bit because the sun's coming up you can see it that much better and you can also see all this sulfur all over this entire crater <laughs> All right, guys. So it's almost morning now, and uh, stepping away from the blue flames here. What a journey! What a trek! All the way from Los Angeles, California, all the way from New York City. This insane three-day trek all the way here. Yeah. So incredible. Never seen anything like it. It's like the Northern Lights times 20. Times 20. So much sulfur in this area. Uh, you can smell it. It's in your lungs. It's in your eyes. It's burning your face. Total success, Mike. 10 out of 10, this was amazing. What an amazing, cool trip. I mean, look at this. You have all these colors here. You have all of this sulfur here. I mean, this is unlike anything I've seen in my life. I feel like I we're mean. not even on Earth. So you might be wondering, Nick, uh, what was happening there? Why was there this big, giant blue flame just coming straight up out of the ground? It's a true geological masterpiece. So in the crater of Ijen, there's an unusual amount of sulfur gas coming out of a fissure in the caldera or the open mouth of the crater. Now this gas is very, very hot. It's actually 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit or 600 degrees Celsius. And when this really hot gas comes into contact with our oxygen rich atmosphere, it bursts into flames. However, the flame is not orange or yellow like burning coal or wood, it's blue. And that's because sulfur burns blue. I promise you guys a experiment at the end of this video. And so what we're gonna do is this. We're going to take this sulfur stalactite that I got from the Creator Regen, and I'm gonna grind up a little piece of it, and we're going to recreate Indonesian blue fire. Here's how this is gonna work. Um, I took a big chunk of that sulfur stalactite. I sort of broke it off, and now we have this piece to work with. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it up in this shirt right here and I'm gonna take a hammer and I'm gonna crack, I'm gonna just smash it all up, right, into like little fine little powder, little dust. And then I'm gonna put it inside of this little beaker right here, and then I'm gonna sprinkle that over top of a brick. Now, I'm doing it over top of a brick because I wanna show you guys how the sulfur sort of melts and flows. And then what we're gonna try to do is we're going to try to recreate that sort of uh, sulfur flow, blue lava-esque sort of look from Mount Ijen. And we're gonna light it up with this blowtorch. Let's make some blue fire. So what I'm gonna do now is like, we're just gonna turn some of the lights down low. Yeah, hit one of them. And then, yeah. Perfect. Jeff, yeah. um, should we add more sulfur? More sulfur. Okay.
it was sick. Look at the little thing in the middle just burning. Yeah. It looks like a uh, piece of meatloaf. <laughs> it's like on fire. <laughs> All right, team, well, we have sufficiently burned our sulfur, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put it out with some CO2. Don't wanna overkill this. Okay, well, it's uh, not wanting to go out. So there we go. All right, so if you guys take a look, it's still very, uh, the sulfur is in a liquid phase. Guys, we just put this out, and if you see the sulfur is in its liquid phase, it kind of looks like butter. Now when we give that some more time, it's gonna cool off. I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like at the end. All this down here is basically just gonna look, just gonna be yellow. It's still smoking. Wow, look at it crystallizing down here. It's all going back to a solid now. All right, well that was Indonesian blue fire. So we saw it one in Indonesia and then two back home. So it still burns blue. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, have you ever heard of Kawa Ijen? Or did you know that sulfur burns blue? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.